Okay, well today we're going to sp spend a day reflecting back on what we've learned so far through the course of our course. Um, the very first thing we learned was our beginner's box. And that is in figure one again. This will be the last time you're going to see this tab. Uh, it's just four notes. But we also learned that we could add the inside notes uh, that we could add the notes in between as outside notes. That these outside notes are not in the key that we're playing, but we can play them as a passing tone. Our tonic is, which is the main note of our all of our lead patterns that we're, we've learned so far, is an A. And this is on the fifth fret of our low E string is our tonic, our root note, it's our main note but we'll have it again up here and up here so that's not the only time the A appears but the A in, in uh, as far as the other notes are concerned is the most important one so a lot of your phrases are going to re revolve around that A note and when we're playing in a beginner's box it's a good note to kind of begin and end on uh, you know Okay, in figure two, which I did there as a slid up into the intermediate box. So with th those uh, six notes, it's similar to the beginner's box. I mean, we're using a, primarily our first finger and third finger. And there's that slide I showed you in the very first week from the fifth fret up to the seventh fret to transition between the beginner's box and the intermediate box. Now then we learned as in figure three the Albert King box. And that's a favorite from bending. We also learned how to transition from that ninth fret between the ninth fret and the seventh fret on that G string to go between the intermediate and the uh, Albert King box. Now in figure four we see the entire lead pattern that we have been studying. That's incorporating the beginner's box, the intermediate box, and the Albert King box. So that's your entire lead pattern. Now, we also learned that these were notes from the pentatonic minor. We're basically repeating the same five notes over and over again, except when we're adding outside notes. Um, and figure five is the traditional pentatonic minor scale in the key of A, which would be A minor. But in blues, we'll just call it A to make things simple. So you can see how that incorporates the notes from uh, the intermediate and a couple of notes from the Albert King box. Just a little bit different. And that's a good that's a good pattern to start with, maybe if you only knew one pattern. But incorporating the beginner's box, the intermediate box, and the Albert King box, and thinking of those three different positions, it's a lot better than being stuck in this one position for the pentatonic minor scale. It's nicer to have the freedom. It just flows a lot more natural than, again, just being stuck in one position. Um, now tomorrow will be our jam, first jam track day. We're going to play along with a jam track for the very first time. And it will be in the key of A. And so all these patterns that we've learned will work with that song. So until then, I'll see you.